Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and in this video blog I'm going to teach you about something called cart spoofing. Now what is cart spoofing? I'm talking about shopping carts, e-commerce sites and cart spoofing is the process where somebody will basically will basically create a copy of your uh, submit page to send uh, bad information to your credit card processor. And the, the reasoning for this is to uh, is to basically try to buy digital product for cheaper than it's actually uh, selling for. This will not work, of course, if you're selling a physical product because if somebody tries to buy something that's for 50 bucks for two bucks, you're not going to ship it. But for digital products like videos and so on, templates and other things like that, you're definitely going to see this cart spoofing occur from time to time. So let's give you a quick example so let's say we got our complete web designer package we're gonna add the download version to the cart and you see of course we have our shopping cart here and it's in an HTML form all this information is hidden in an each in an HTML form so let me show you what I mean well first of all if you go to the checkout the PayPal checkout now we use PayPal, we have, have our own credit card accounts as well, but I'll show you the PayPal. Our cart sends PayPal this information that you see here, it's the name of the package and the price and some other stuff as well. So if we just go back to our cart, uh, we have a form here, so let's take a look at it on scene. So in Firefox, you go to Tools, Web Developer, Page Source, and what we want to do is find a form. So I'm just going to no, I'm just going to do a quick find, edit, find, and I'll go form, next, okay, let's go previous, previous, here we go, here's the form, form action equals, this is the form that sends the information to PayPal, we have multiple forms uh, on this page, by the way, so let's go to the, back to the form, and you notice there's a whole bunch of hidden information that is not shown to the person in the actual web page. And some of this information includes the product name, and we also show the price, because PayPal does not have in their databases a list of our products and prices. We have to send that to PayPal. So what somebody will do is they will just create a copy of this form, and for instance, they'll just change the price in the form element. Let me, let me find that again. Ooh, where'd I go here? Let's view that again. And uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. So you see we have a price here. Input type hidden, that means it's not shown to the person. And it has a price of $99. So some people will go in there and try to be smart and enter another price and then buy it and assume that they can buy a $99 package for nine bucks or something. So for instance, here's a notification I got from PayPal uh, a little while ago. And you see that this guy sent a payment for one cent. And he tried to buy our WordPress from Theme Scratch tutorial. And I can assure you that that particular course does not go for one cent. It actually goes for $29.99. Now again, if he bought the DVD, it wouldn't make much of a difference, I suppose, because I wouldn't ship a DVD that's 39 bucks if you paid only one cent. But for a download, instant download that we do provide, this could be a problem. So how do you solve this problem? Well, the way you solve it is you have to use, uh, on your end, you're gonna have to basically program the cart to not allow, um, to, to check rather, uh, the price of things once a payment is made. So when we got this notification from PayPal, we check to see whether or not that particular item is actually worth one cent. And if it's not worth, you know, if they don't actually have the right dollar amount, they didn't pay the right amount, we just don't let them have access to the videos. So there you go, that's cart spoofing. It's just one of many ways that nefarious people, evil people, will try to hack your site and your servers. And it's very annoying, but there's ways to protect against it. And I just uh, gave you one idea. I'm sure there's others out there. And that's about it for this video blog. You know, 
we uh, have been incognito for a little while, been uh, busy with things, uh, big server move, doubled our server capacity, and actually for me personally, a big move myself. So it's, uh, I've been sort of uh, out of the picture in terms of putting out these type of videos, but this is all gonna be starting up again, and we're doing a huge major revamp of our video store. It's going from a, just you know, a typical store, you know, simple store, shopping cart, and so on, but we're gonna be producing, we're working on now an actually a much smarter store, which should be, uh, even for people who are not interested in buying any product, they will find the store, I think, very, very useful in terms of uh, information, tons of free videos and audio and a whole bunch of more things. So uh, I can't wait to show that to you guys. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. Steph again, and uh, we shall talk very soon.